G'day everyone, Tim from the VMix here. If you've seen us in person over the last six months or so, you probably will have seen one of these, the Insta360 Link. Now we've been using the Insta360 Link quite a lot for our trade shows because they're really small and versatile for what we need. Now in VMix 26, you can program them like a traditional PTZ camera. VMix 4K, Pro and Max allow you to control your PTZ cameras directly from the VMix interface and create camera positions with ease. The Insta360 Link is a pretty handy little camera and offers you the functionality of a PTZ camera, but in the form factor of a webcam. Now sure, they're not gonna give you the same picture quality of a PTZ camera that's 10 times the price, but we've been pleasantly surprised with the quality of it. We've got quite a few Logitech, Microsoft, Elgato, and other brands of webcams around the office, and according to 80% of the vMix staff, this is the best one. Now it sits at a price point that's a bit more expensive than a webcam, but much cheaper than a PTZ. I think they're around 285 US dollars at the time of this recording. Now, as with most equipment, it's not for everybody, but it is a pretty neat little piece of kit that can be easily thrown into a travel bag and serve a number of purposes. Now, I plug my camera into the computer via USB, so let's go ahead and set it up. So here I am now in the vMix interface. I'm gonna go ahead and add this camera. So we just go to add input in the bottom left, then go to camera, then select the Insta360 Link MF from the drop-down menu. Then make sure it's the right resolution and frame rate for our preset, which is 1080 5994p. And I've just turned off the audio here because I don't need it in my production. So as a side note, if you do want to use this camera with 50p or 60p, you do need to go into the Link Controller software and change it to use streamer mode down here. All right, so let's get back to it. Once you've set it up, just go ahead and click OK down the bottom. And here we are, we are now in our production with the Insta360 Link. So let's go ahead and show you some different things you can do in vMix with it. So if you go into the input settings, we can then check out the PTZ control. So click on the little gear icon of the input and then just go to the PTZ tab over here. Then from the device type, we're going to select UVC PTZ and then click connect. So now we have it connected to vMix. So what we can do now is move it around if we want. We can create presets. So I'm gonna create a preset right here. So there's a preset. And what I'm gonna do is create another couple for some different shots here. I'm gonna zoom in to the, this computer that I've just created. I'm gonna create an input here. Let's swing it over the other side and zoom in on this motherboard. And then create another input at that position, like so. And so now I have multiple uh, PTZ presets for it. So let's go ahead and, uh, so it's in the preview, so I can switch it to myself, I can switch it to the camera, and then I can switch it to the motherboard. Now you do notice that there is a little bit of easing, that's just a part of how the PTZ camera works. So as it moves, it will slowly ease in and then stay on the position. So that's, a, that's something to keep in mind if you want to use one. Now there are some pretty cool other features that this camera offers in camera. So you can have it auto follow. So if I put my hand up like this, it will flash blue. And that means that it's now following me as a person. So it's gonna follow me wherever I go. Now there are some other cool things that it offers from within the Insta360 Link software. Now that's not controllable by vMix, but it does have a bunch of different features, including whiteboard recognition and a bunch of different things that you could check out. So that's the Insta360 Link and how it works in vMix 26. Due to the size and quality, we've actually been able to use these quite a bit for our trade shows, vMix calls, conference calls, and that type of thing over the last little while, and they've served us really well. Enough for Martin to decide that he wanted to add it to vMix 26. So if you have been using the Insta360 link, feel free to drop us a comment and let us know how it's going. Let us know what kind of productions you're doing with it and some other people might be able to see and see if this is worth it for them in their productions. So thanks for watching, and if you do have any questions, feel free to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. Stream you later.